Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today we're moving on to what may be, for real this time, the final area of the game. Cortex has turned back again to the dark side, stealing the time mask, whatever her name is, I forget, I'm sorry. And now we're back at Cortex Island. Back in 1996, he's trying to prevent himself from ever making Crash to begin with. Let's see how that happens in the first level, Nitro Processing. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, here we are. Nice landing. You again? You two are so clingy. Take a hint already. Uh -huh. On my super secret personal frequency. What? Who is this? This imposter? Do you not recognize your own face? I've come from the future to warn you. If you try to turn Crash Bandicoot into the general of your army, you will fail! The machine rejects him! God! Fiend! Embryo, alert the guards! Uh, why won't I listen to me? Because you don't listen to anyone. <laughs> All right, whoa, look at this, it's so cool! So we're in the sewers of the castle, don't fall off. Anything over here? No. Well, I've already got my first death. We're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna keep going. 135 boxes to get here. I like that the no bandicoot allowed sign down there. Interesting. So yeah, this is really cool. There's an imposter B on the loose. Identical in appearance. Beady eyes, lips like two overripe bananas, skin like a jaundiced mole rat, a bona fide tail. <laughs> I was gonna say, it sounds like Cortex is a little down on his confidence, but then apparently that's just what he likes. So, I mean, hey, if he likes how he looks, that's important. That's the most important person you should be happy about the appearance of, right? Is yourself, <laughs> is of Cortex. <laughs> there we go. Um, I love this so far. This level design's really interesting with the sewers and stuff. I'm not very good at it at the moment, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Oop, got it. So we got these electric bugs, which certainly we did not see in the original crash. And now I'm like thinking about like, what would this look like in like the low poly version in on the PS1 game, you know? That'd be so cool to think about, you know? If somebody made sort of like a demake of Crash 4, that'd be really cool. Uh, hmm, this place has so many moving parts to it though, whoa. Any crates back here? Never be too sure, right? Whoa, we got some rats with some spiky shields. Uh. Got him. Well, I wonder if we'll run into the uh, the little um, guys from the first game, the, you know, the ones that hold the shield. Oh my, what do we do, what do we do? Ah! <laughs> that was close. Okay, we got this little wheel, or actually a very big wheel. <laughs> oh my. Whoa, okay, I walked too far. I don't think I can go into the green sludge. That's just a hunch I have. Oh. Definitely get rid of that, and I'll slam this one. But yeah, I have a feeling this world is going to be really, really challenging because they all have been. They've all just been getting more and more tough. I mean, actually, last episode, it wasn't too bad. There weren't too many levels in the last dimension, though. There we go. No, I double jumped, though. <laughs> Usually, you know, double jumping is just good for making sure you make it okay, but you're not so much. There we go. See, it's not that difficult. I was just being silly. And then we'll wait for this. Got it. Okay. Nothing really over there. Don't don't go upside down just yet. Oh, no! I don't know why that looked like it was in the background to me. <laughs> okay, so go under. I wonder if, nope, nothing back behind the ramp or anything like that. So this level definitely is challenging so far. I'm also not playing super well, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, flip upside down, grab some extra Wumpa Fruit out of it. Cause it looks like we'll probably, oh my, have to get a lot of stuff in this level. Oh, this is so interesting. I love this idea. We're sort of like creating this force of gravity with it. I have a feeling I want to... Aha! Awesome. No, well, you can't jump off of that. Why not? So I guess it counted me getting the gem already. I just had to get that box right there and we should just be able to jump down. Everything is upside down. That makes it a little difficult to work with. 
But the game gave me an extra Aku, Aku mask and everything, so we should be fine. Oh, I got him, I got him. And there goes my mask as well, so. Hopefully we've done everything we're supposed to do. Uh, oh, that was not good. There we go. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's nitro crates on some of these. Uh, <laughs> do any of them actually have like normal crates? Oh my gosh. Uh, so now they're all walking around with those things. Oh, I like that little skull and crossbones with crash on it there in the bottom. That's cool. All right, well, a little slime, guys. I guess I should dodge them, they explode. Note taken, do they turn around? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so what's going on with all this? I gotta sort of land on it. Oh, and there's more, there's more. Oh no, Ooh, got it. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. I don't see any more. Uh. Oh, that was close. Try my best to avoid all the dangers. Not going well on this sewer. Whoa, that turtle has a spiky shell. Maybe he knows Bowser. Oh, there we go. Ah, sorry, Aku Aku. Oh my. Oh, definitely get this. Oh, or it's too late. Hmm, see we're doing pretty okay now. I feel like we're, we're starting to pick up the pace. Looks like there's a crate on every one of these. I'm just trying to make sure I get them on until no more show up. So while there are a lot of crates in this level, there's a lot of crates that are sort of like that. One, two, three, four, got it. So yeah, I'm really liking sort of the different style level design with each dimension. Um, this one has a really cool one to it. And I wonder how it's gonna progress a little bit. I wonder if we'll start seeing some of the Crash 1 bosses. Can we see Papu Papu, Pinstripe maybe, Koala Kong? That would be cool. Because honestly, we haven't had too many boss fights in this game. We, we had Engine, Embryo, and Entropy. So we've only had the scientists as boss bosses. We haven't had any of the old bosses return. Would be cool if there was like some kind of gauntlet with them all. Are they scientist guards? I mean, that's, yeah. Scientist rat guards, I guess. Oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Got it. There's a lot of enemies now. There goes one of my Aku Akus. Okay, I don't need to take out every enemy. Honestly, you don't need to take out any enemy. Oh my. Oh. There's just so much going on, but I would love to skip out on some of it. Oh, no, wait. Wow. Ooh. That was very lucky. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, that's, it's hard to time that while the platforms are also falling on me. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Is Cortex making fun of himself? Oh, there we go. There's another crate for us, another Aku Aku. What am I doing here? Oh, wall jumping. Oh no! Cortex was arguing with himself and I, I missed out on it. Yeah, I guess he's not talking anymore. I love this sort of upward slant wall jump. That's a cool look to it. Going up the little waterfall here though. Not always the easiest. Oh, okay. Ready? Got him. Ah, oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Just gonna jump right over that guy. This section's been really tough though. Oh, there's the time slowdown. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you. So how are you here with us if you're taken by court? What? I don't understand. Either way, we're gonna take, we're gonna take the uh, bonus stage first. 22 crates to find in here. Um, yeah, I don't have to actually worry about that too much. Okay, because I don't think there were any, um, oh, that was, that was, I thought I had jumped off of it, but instead I double jumped. I don't think there were any uh, of the crates back that that would have been activated by the exclamation mark crate. See, I should be good with just not even worrying about it because the nitro will explode it. There we go. 
Awesome. I'm gonna jump off that one first so it just doesn't flame me. Cause I don't like that, of course. Hmm, oh, this one is a matter of being quick though. Yep, actually not that bad at all. That was one of the easier bonus stages we've ran into for a while. But there we go, we did get the third gem there for the Wampa Fruit. So now we need to slow things down a bit. And then land up here, and then slow them down again. Even when it's slowed down very fast. Oh my. Now this, I don't trust very much at all. But we gotta go, ooh, ooh. Got it. Whoa, whoa, Crash, where are you? Okay, that wasn't too bad now. Oh, that was good, that was good. So at 110 out of 135, I guess I could do this. Oh yeah, this makes it so much easier. And this is how far I gotta get. I died 17 times. I need to die a lot less than that. <laughs> Zero times. So there's three more crates, uh, not three more. Um, 23 more crates left to break. Hopefully we can find them. Oh, okay. I would like to dodge this, thank you. Those bugs are moving quick now. This is fun though. Oh, and was that enough? No, I missed one somewhere. Where, could I have missed it back this way? Is there any chance? I don't think so. Oh, and the time mask is gone. Even though I'm back over here, that's weird. Ah, oh, I can't believe I missed the last crate somewhere. That really stinks. Oh wow, so I gotta do the whole level again. There's some cool stuff heading up there though. We're heading out of the sewer. Level complete, sort of. Completed, but not finished. So let's try again. Oh, there it is. This was the one crate I missed way up here. Okay, I feel very silly. Hopefully it'll give me the mask. It doesn't. Oh, that's weird. If I just move on past it, you don't get the, that's really, I didn't work that way. Either way, that was the crate I missed. I'm glad that I got it now. And there we go. It really was that one crate that I missed. I died a ton of times, of course, trying to get all of the crates, so I'm gonna have to go through it again to not get the three deaths and everything that we normally need to. Okay, there it is. This took me so many tries to get to, but here we are. I have tried over and over and over again, and we're right at the end of the level, so I just gotta keep going. Come on, come on. Got it. And luckily I have the double Aku Aku here, so I don't care if I get hit. Awesome. Awesome, so there we go. Not only did I not die less than three times, I just didn't die at all. So that's pretty cool to get out of the way. <laughs> wow, um, so there we go, flashback tape unlocked. I don't know if we'll have the ability to play that right away, but as soon as we do get the ability to play it, I'll play it. So that was certainly challenging, but I, I am really happy that uh, we got it done. We're making progress. Uh, okay. So there we go, we did the flashback tape unlocked. This is for Coco, of course. It's the third to last one, how exciting. Flashback tape tech check. Let's give it a try. Let's play the level. Yep, we'll, we'll get all the crates, or at least I'll try my best to. You never know with this game, you, you just really never know. Coco appears to possess a fascination with technology. Not just a video game addiction. <laughs> how about both? All right then, so what's going on with this? I think I need to hang out on this crate for a bit. Yeah, buy myself some time. This is 140, oh, okay, that was bad. <laughs> need to be better with the angling. Um, wait, there's 142 crates to get here, so we just need to activate all those. Then we can go through, no problem. Yeah, I guess the big worry is, oh my gosh. Getting onto the edge of a jumping crate, I've noticed is a little awkward in this game specifically. There's just something about it that's a little off. Um, Where the controls will sort of allow you to do that a whole lot easier in the other Crash games. But there we go, I got it that time. That's all that matters. So what's going on with this? Okay, so far just normal crates. I should be able to make that, and I can, good. So, so far we haven't gotten a ton of crates. It just looks like it's a lot of work to get these crates. Oh, okay. Whoa. No, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Okay, I gotta get up there somehow. There we go. Okay. So I can do that and then 
Um, oh, okay, I didn't know if I could slide off the TNT creature if that would make them explode. I've been wondering that for a while. I probably should have experimented sooner. Okay. I'm guessing I have to... Oh no, okay. Well, yeah, if I hit this, that should explode everything else. We're about to find out. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Um. Oh, not bad. We get that checkpoint too. Maybe that's why she's so good with attack is that she had, whoa, whoa. Okay, something wasn't right there though. Oh, I see. Um, oh, I gotta hit that one TNT to explode everything else there. That's a little tricky to maneuver. But we can get it done. Yeah, I, I guess that maybe at some point, engine sort of trained Coco with all that. But even on her own, she was always good with computers though, so that's cool. No, wait. Uh. So you need to hit that. No, okay, wait. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, I bounced off of it without getting hurt by the flame and without breaking it. I didn't know I could do that. Good to know. So what do we got here? Two flame crates. I'm just gonna break what I need to break. Ah, come on. That's really tough. Okay, oh, there we go. I think, yeah, that's all gonna explode, so we're good there. And I think that as long as I get these two, I should be in the clear. Yeah, awesome. What exactly are we trying to do here? Um, there we go. Got it. Excellent. It's just about chaining up all these TNT now. Oh wait, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I had to be faster than that. Okay, come on, go. Go, oh, oh my gosh. That one was tough. That was really, really difficult. So I'm glad we got through that. Super duper scary. Wow. All right then, so <laughs> let's keep going. Next level, so we got that flashback tape done. I think that we are going to um, just move over to the next level now, whatever that's gonna end up being. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Really challenging. Cortex's Island is, or Cortex Island. And we still have three more levels left to tackle, it seems. So the next one is going to be Toxic Tunnels. Of course, the Toxic Tunnels has some like mine carts and stuff. That seems pretty cool. So I'm guessing that a lot of this is still gonna be throughout the tunnels of Cortex's castle, but it would be cool if we could explore some of the other parts of the Crash 1 setting, the islands and stuff would be really cool to see, but I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen. Is it hot in here? I guess so. Uh, oh, okay, so back here we immediately have some crates, good to know. And I also wanna check, level stats, we do have the tape. Oh, is this a part of the machine? They tried to zap Crash with at the very beginning of Crash 1? I wouldn't think so, because I think this is even before that. Either way, let's go ahead and spin these guys. There's rats, yeah, there's a couple of them, but there's rats everywhere, so. Why did you, I have to choose a bandicoot? Oh, no, that got me. Uh, oh, does that, do the minecarts have Qualcomm's face on them? Yeah, they do, because of the Qualcomm level. Oh, that's so cool, wait a minute. Hold on, don't forget the crates back here. Whoop, there it is. 273 crates again this level. This one's gonna be tough, isn't it? Hey, Qualcomm's face is on it. Oh, I really, really hope that means that, oh my, wait. What was that up there? Okay, nothing. I thought I saw something up there. I didn't know. The Qualcomm's face is on it, which makes me really hope that he's in the game somehow. Because like I've said, all the bosses have been scientists so far. Which is fine. The scientist characters are very cool, but I want more. Oh boy. Um. So let's get rid of that. And over this way. Ooh. Oh my. Got it. I'm sure it's going to shift over from a sewer aesthetic over to a castle sort of style thing soon enough though, because you know, it is Cortex's castle we're going into. There we go. Hmm. And I think we're going to move forward, yeah. Okay, so far we have about one-tenth of the crates we need. Isn't that wonderful? 
I'll slam down on all this. But these mine carts seem to take you out in one hit. You gotta be really careful of that. Ooh, spin through that. Don't jump too early or I'll go right into the nitro. Uh, there, got it. Oh, what is, whoa, is this because we have all the colored gems? Wow, would you look at that? So we have this whole secret area over here because we got all the colored gems. This is so cool. Okay, so now I understand why the crate requirement is so high, right? There's gonna be like a whole section, ow, here. That was a really cool little opening for it, though. I loved that. Is it definitely worth it to have all of the colored gems collected at this point? Of course, we've done that throughout the series, so hope you are watching through. No, oh, no! Oh, wait, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I thought I had fallen to my doom there. Whoa, watch it. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything that I'll have to hop on top of the minecarts for, that's what I was just making sure of there. Well, I was exploring around so much, but... Ooh, come on. Oh, and yeah, this is where we get to bring the green gem somewhere. This is so cool. Oh, I love this. It's definitely worth collecting all the gems. And honestly, like, I mean, some of them were tough to get for sure, but they weren't as difficult, I honestly feel, as some of the color gems and the other... Whoa, I gotta grab onto this and then jump off before it electrocutes me. But not as tough as some of the other crash games that have color gems. There we go. Whoa, ooh, that jump is a little crazy. And up there, I see that hidden little crate. Not getting by me this time. I really don't wanna to get to the end of this level and then find out like, oh no, uh, that I missed one crate again. Oh, ho, ho, that's tough. Oh, and I'm back at the beginning again. This is not gonna be easy. Nothing about this level is going to be easy. Okay, I don't feel like this one's worth the risk for the Wumpa Fruit. Let me get back up there though, because I can do that. Oh. Yeah, I don't even need to. <laughs> Didn't even have to do it the way I, uh, it seems like it expected me to there. Oh my, oh my. There's a lot going on in this level, and timing that is not a pleasant thing. I really wish it would just give me an extra checkpoint there. I feel like that's a pretty long stretch for no checkpoint. But hey, we're coming up on the end of the game. I think that's the whole idea. Okay, okay, wow. That was a little ridiculous, but hey, we made our way through. Let's go through the red gem. So this is like some kind of cool gem trial. We don't get a checkpoint, but we do get another Aku Aku. So we gotta make sure we don't follow our doom here. Oh my. And where will we end up by the end of all this? Am I going to be able to go back? Oh my. Um, uh. Oh, okay. Didn't lose the Aku Aku there, that's nice. Oh, that's like a wall jumping section. But hopefully I'll be brought back to the beginning to where everything is, because like, I don't know, this seems like a weird one to go through and actually get all the crates as well for, I don't know, the section we're not going through, if that makes sense, and now I gotta do it all again. I have a feeling this entire extra bonus area might be a no checkpoint thing. I'm a little concerned about that. I guess that makes sense, so I think that all of the gem bonus areas I've explored have been no checkpoints. This one is just particularly lengthy. Okay, so no being silly this time. Don't just fly off the side. Whoa, these move quick. All right, there we go. I'll grab that one, then I'm out of here. Okay, I made it, I made it, I made it. Don't zap me, thanks. Definitely a couple of crates up here we can grab, and then we should just be good to uh, fall back down. Got it, and we got more, whoa, moving wall jump sections. I'm still super, super not fond of at times. Okay, there's a couple more crates for us. Let's keep moving. Almost at 100, <laughs> that's good. Don't get me wrong, that's great, but. Not quite what we need. So we're at the yellow gem section now. Which means there's one more after this, right? Whoa. Oh, is that gonna, no, we're fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, things are heating up. <laughs> um. So I gotta, yeah, slide jump over. Jeez, that's crazy. Thank you. Climb up, climb up, over the nitro. Spin this guy that still got me, which is just not fair. 
Oh no. So I have no Aku Aku now. I'm trying to make the most of everything. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay, that worked. Uh, Definitely gotta hit the TNT. Oh, come on. That's not good. Gotta do the whole thing over. Oh my. Oh, so this is where things get complicated. And I'm not really sure how to manage this right now. Okay, there we go. We're on this thing now. I can jump over. I can spin at that. I didn't take any damage. Exactly what I like to see. Bounce off of you, spin this guy away. Jump onto that, onto the TNT. Okay, I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it, but I, I feel pretty cool that I did it that way. Um, What's up here? So this is the way I'm supposed to go. So let's go back for a second. Um, Oh my. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm getting better at timing. Whoa, that is fast. I'm glad I have Aku Aku because I don't see how I'm supposed to be able to do that. That was a little ridiculous, not gonna lie. And we gotta do it again, ready? Nope, not happening. Okay, I thought I had the safety of double Aku Aku. Now I don't. We're heading over to the blue gem area though, the final one, presumably. Now we have 116 crates. Whew. More minecarts. It looks like we actually have to ride these ones. Reminds me of the Wrath of Cortex, um, where you would ride the minecarts in that one. That one was always cool. It'd be cool if they had that section in here. It doesn't look like they do. Oh, there's the hidden gem. J sure, hey, I'll take it. So I guess, and is that everything? That's everything, wow. Now, I could still die at any moment. I have to be very careful here and hope I run into like a bonus section or checkpoint soon. Because if not, I'm in big trouble. All right. Ready, go. Oh. And I need to jump, jump, got it. Yeah, these ones don't have like flame thrusters on them. Wow, that's close. Once again, I think if I mess this up, I have to do the whole bonus section over again. Checkpoint, yes! Okay, we're in the clear. So yeah, that was sort of the bonus section you get for getting all of the hidden color gems. How cool is that? Okay, what am I doing here? It looks like I'm going this way. So far, so good. All these, some of these have the heat things on them. Golden Wumpa Fruit, you know, why not? If it's there, I might as well dig in. That was good, that was good. And another checkpoint. I wonder if I put that other checkpoint there just because of how many times I died. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I'm up to 14 deaths. Okay. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa, all right. Can I go under that? I can. Oh. So this level is certainly a wild challenge so far. I'm just gonna spin this. I really don't wanna risk it. I know we still have a lot more Wumpa Fruit to get before we get all the gems for them. We also have just a lot more crates to get in general. We're, we're just barely halfway there. Anything up here? Nothing. Why did I do that? <laughs> I guess I don't, if I long jump that, I should be fine. Just get back over there. Can't take too much effort, right? Whoa. As long as I'm not silly. So let's not be silly. Duck under this one just like before. You're gonna freak out. Oh, can't get to it in time, that's okay. We know what we're doing here, we've done it all before. Excellent. Now the electric bug is sort of the biggest problem. Got him. And then yeah, if I do this, I don't know if it was necessarily worth that risk, but now that I've gotten that out of the way, I can duck under these things. Oh my gosh. The, the level of platforming prowess, the bats are back. We haven't seen the bats since Crash 1. Oh boy. They were in like the, like the temple levels. And here's a checkpoint and also a bonus area. Yeah, the, the platforming prowess required to go through these levels without issue is insane. 44 crates in this bonus section will definitely make a big difference, so. Trying to figure that out. 
excellently done. Okay, what I think I gotta do there is on my way up, hit that one flame crate, and then on my way back down, take out the other. I think we can do that. So far, nothing is easy. There's a lot of flame crates in this one, too. There we go. Ah, oh, darn. And I could try to get all worried about the uh, the golden wampa crates. Once again, I don't know if it's necessary. Maybe I should be a bit more worried about it. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, but you know what, yeah, because what I could do is that, get up here, hit that. Okay, so I'm not getting that golden wampa. That's fine. Why is it so ridiculous? Okay, hold on. Yeah, just go over it. That's what I wanted. Thought it worked out. Oh, that could have been bad. So not much I could do about this nitro for now. But I guess what I'm expected to do, I don't know if this is what I'm expected to do at all. Okay, come on. This level is ridiculous. Oh. Okay, that's most of everything, but not everything. I, I skipped some stuff intentionally because I had to. But now we're back. We got 44 of them. And I got 151 per fruit out of this. That's quite a lot. Oh no. Ooh, don't mess that up on the very end. There we go. Bonus section cleared with 188 crates, so less than 100 to go now. Very good to see. Okay. I love the music to this level so far though. It has like that relaxing, but also intense vibe to it. Hmm. I don't know exactly what I'd be expected to do here, but I know I can get up here without an issue. Get a, yeah. Oh, see ya. Um, I got a Aku Aku. And we haven't even gotten to wherever the mixtape is. The mixtapes are super demanding now. <laughs> Why is there a no duck picture everywhere? I keep seeing that around. Is there like a prominent duck character I'm not remembering in the Crash games? I don't know. Okay, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing first. I guess I can get this golden wampa. We almost have a thousand wampa fruit. There we go. Oh no. Okay, I made it, I made it. That was close. And it doesn't look like, ow, there's anything over there. Sorry, Aku Aku. Yeah, gotta do that. Wow, now things are starting to heat up. That's why Crash was seeming so, uh, so I guess like he was just tired, exhausted, very overheated at the very beginning of the level. We're getting to like this heat processing plant of Cortex's castle. Lava's everywhere. I mean, Cortex might be a little silly sometimes, but I gotta hand it to him. Buttered noodles. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so I guess he thinks he's the imposter, quote unquote, is reading his diary. But yeah, while Cortex might be very silly and most of it is because of his uh, ego, I think he's a fantastically smart scientist. He, he's obviously accomplished a lot. Look at all that's around us. Okay, um, so I guess I gotta go over this way. Was that a mistake? It almost was. Um, oh my. Oh no, I can't see. No, oh, I tried to jump, but I was sort of falling off to the side too. Darn. Yeah, I don't like how if a voice clip gets cut off because of you dying, it doesn't replay. That might be one of my biggest complaints of the game so far. Shows you it's been a pretty good game if that pretty minor thing is a complaint or one of the biggest complaints. Okay, try again. Because we're getting a lot of crates now. The amount of crates in the area is picking up. But this is where the mixtape is. So I have to get all the way to this point in the level on another playthrough, not this one. Um, oh, without dying. 
I've died 19 times. <laughs> you can see how that might be tough. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that was the best idea, but it worked out for me. Okay, that's what I like to see. We've got a lot of crates so far, and we have to be entering near the end of the level. I can only assume with how many crates we have. Um, oh my, I do not trust that little scientist rat. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got the Wumpa Fruit Gem there. That's what that little noise was. But, ah, oh, I didn't even see him. I was so focused on the platforms. We might have all the crates. I don't know how many Nitro crates we ended up jumping past throughout this level. Or oh, it's gonna be very close, I think. I really hope we got that. Ah. Oh. Okay, come on, Ronnie. Boom. That is not nearly enough. Where are those crates? I don't know. But look at this cool little doorway we're heading into here. I love how one level leads into the next like that, but I gotta replay the whole thing again, looking for those final three or four crates, wherever they could have been. Why did you? I have to choose a bandicoot. If I just stuck with the wall pad, this all would have been different. Yeah, wall pads. This pad so there's a crate up there. And above all, loyal. No. Okay, so we didn't hear Cortex say all that before. I don't know if I've talked about it, but Crash was originally going to be Willy the Wombat before, you know, they just decided on him being Crash Bandicoot. No, I died! But, yeah, I guess that's the voice clip we missed before. But that crate I got there was definitely one I think I missed before. So I'm glad that I was able to get that out of the way this time. Okay, so there are two crates back here that I definitely, okay, dude, missed before. But I got them now. So there must be a couple more hanging out around like that that I just totally just missed and we'll have to try to find now. So I think that up there is the last one. I don't think I got these, these boxes up here. So if that's the case, that would sort of add up to the seven boxes I've missed. So I don't know if that's the case. I gotta still complete this level. So I have plenty of time to find out if I'm wrong. I have been spending so much time on this, so much time. It is by far the most difficult level in the game so far. There it is. Hours, okay, maybe not hours, but at least like a solid hour of just trying this level over and over again. I would say like an hour and a half. And I finally got all the boxes in one go. That was ridiculously difficult. Now I gotta do it all again so that I can die basically not at all because it's so close to the end of the level that I gotta get the tape. So let's see how many times that takes. All right, there we go. I got the flashback tape, so I made it this far without dying. It's most of the level, took a lot of tries. Now I just gotta go through the rest of it without dying more than three times, so <laughs> I'll try my best. There we go. After a very long time, I have fully completed this level with all the gems and stuff. Super happy about that. And I guess it means we're good to move on to the next area, whatever that might be. I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene after this, so no, we're gonna go straight back to the dimensional map. Ooh, and there might be more difficult levels, who knows? I, I feel like that is gonna be the most difficult one though because it is the one that features the path that requires all of the gems, so like it would make sense. Either way, it looks like, I'm gonna guess there's three more levels left here because we have this one, and then it looks like there might be space for like a Cortex or Ton or a Dingo Dial level, and then finally, maybe the final battle with Cortex, but for right now, we're heading into Cortex Island, Cortex Castle, let's go. Oh, so here we are at Cortex's castle. Wonder if it'll be more difficult than it was back in Crash 1, but I guess we'll find out. You see pictures of like Crash's relatives. Well, there's Tiny. Whoa, look, Tiny the Tiger. I hope he's actually in the game as well, but it looks like we also got um, Lonnie Loli here for the uh, mask. You'll never find me, Neo Cortex. This castle is a maze. I alone know all of its secret halls and passages. Like the one behind the portrait of Grandfather that opens when you press on his triangular monster. Oh, whoops. <laughs> no, now I won't hear what Cortex was saying. Something about, I guess he would just, you know, he found it. He probably got scared. Um, there we go. Uh, awesome. These jumps are a little tricky. It's hard to sort of tell exactly the depth of them. You can see a picture, or is that, that's a video feed of Cortex watching us. But it's weird, it only seems like there's like one Cortex castle level in this one. There were several in the original crash. There we go. So how many crates we have? We have 170, which is still 
a lot, but definitely not as many as before. Okay, so what exactly am I doing here to get over there? Oh, I can stand on this. Oh, interesting. But I don't think that's enough. I guess I could just wait for it to reach the apex of its ascension here. And then I can get it. Okay, that works. I'll take it. All right, uh, got it. Okay, there's a lot going on in this level. Hmm. Yeah, let's definitely grab that one. And then back down here, does this disappear, that, that laser? It does not. Okay, so it's in my best interest for right now to get up like this. There we go. Cool, I think we're doing well so far. What in the world is, oh, they're, they're like blades. They sort of look weird at this angle. Look at all the different busts of Cortex every couple of feet. Oh, I'm supposed to, yeah, slow things down. Didn't think about that. Um, But <laughs> do you think it'd be better if you just carried around a mirror, but he wants to be reminded about what he looks like every couple of feet. Can I hop on top of him? I can't. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. So I think we're gonna move forward. So what's going on with this guy? He's the kind of jet board for some reason. That's weird, but okay. Okay, now I have to start hopping on him. There we go. Hmm. I'll get rid of this one nitro, and on top of it was a crate. Oh, I guess I landed on the side of it. That was a little weird. Okay, come on. Hard to sort of time that one, but we got it, we got it. Are these guys gonna attack me? Oh no, they're just skeletons! <laughs> the jet boarding scientists are a little much. Hmm. Actually, hold on, before I do any of that, just trying to make sure. No hidden crates around or anything. Oh boy. Let's see if that was a good idea. Oh, just barely made it. That was close. Boom, and we got our bonus section already. Cool. Looks like we're not gonna get him getting a mask. Oh no, there he is, or she is, I think. Okay, so gotta hop on the nitro. Not too bad for that spot, but this is surely going to be a tad bit more difficult. Boom. What is that over there? Some kind of like drone. Whoa, I almost didn't time that right. That was not what I meant to do. So with TNT, once you activate it, you can stand on top of it and then you can like, you know, crouch jump off of it. You can't do that with Nitro, even if everything is slowed down. And that's just something to keep in mind. Ooh. All right, ooh. Got it. Okay. So there's 39 crates in this uh, bonus area. That's actually quite a lot. Most of them seem to be nitro. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know if I have a choice, really. What do we do here? Did I mess that up? Oh, I didn't, I didn't. Wow, okay, cool. I'll bounce off of that one. I don't know, oh my. Uh, uh, oh, that got me. <laughs> Vaporized me. Okay, so we actually just don't even need to hop over that way just yet. Instead, it's better just to slam down this way, activate those, and then the nitro is spawning in. But that's everything, all 39 crates. So once we got those jumps figured out, the thing I am worried about is trying to make sure I get the most of the Wumpa fruit because we've been finding that that meter doesn't fill up as easily nowadays on these harder levels. So, oh my. Oh, I made it, cool. I've had it up to here with your game, Mr. Loud. Loud? Why, I never. What is it? Am I seeing double? Embryo, quickly, revoke this frog hologram access. <laughs> no, Embryo, I'm no frog. I'm from the future. You must listen to me. Embryo, do you not recognize your own master? I'm the real Cortex. No, Embryo, I am. <laughs> uh, ding dong, ding dong. Oh my, sounds like the doorbell. I better go see who it is. Okay, isn't this going to like irrevocably mess up time though? You know, like, oh no. Oh no, I, well, I just got that checkpoint, so it should be fine, but 
they're just always going to know of this time when Cortex from the future, who claimed to be Cortex, showed up. And they just sort of forget about it and move on? Oh, darn. <laughs> but I got the extra gem there. I just need one more after that. Okay, I know I can make that jump back. Not that bad. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to be using the, uh, the mask that flips around here, but I don't think so. No, let's just slam all this stuff. So it's gone. Okay, um, bounce off of that. What will this do? Oh no. Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. It doesn't look like there's anything over there. That's really tough, oh my gosh. Can we land on the bottom side of that platform? Now's the time to find out. Thanks game, thanks. It's so weird with that. I feel like they don't give you enough screen space for this mask to properly work half the time. Oh, you can, it just looks like you can't. All right. I was able to get rid of that one. The only problem now is that. <laughs> okay, I was able to make that without too much of an issue. Now we can go through and, oh my, oh, we made it. That was close. And while there was a bunch of lasers over there, I don't think it matters. I don't think there was anything over there. A little bit of a weird scenario, for sure. Haven't found the hidden gem yet, though. Definitely looking around for it. Okay, wow, that was actually fairly good dodging right there. Mostly by mistake, but dodged nonetheless. Wow, I can't believe we went through that on the first try. Anything back that way? Whoa, hey, scientist, see ya. Uh huh? Whatever happened there, I guess we'll have to find out in the next level. Cool. Help! Oh my, Quit something's struggling. happening. Don't make me help anyone! We have an evil doppelganger situation! <laughs> I'm not a doppelganger! I'm... No, forget it. Help! There, that'll shut me up. What's weird is that this is all happening. That proves that these are pre-recordings of Cortex, right? Because it's like not happening at the same time. Okay, that was a waste of an Aku Aku. Sort of a shame. Oh, but that will block the laser off. Interesting. Whoa, I need to keep how that works in mind though. There we go. Very tricky. Oh wow, we're, we're switching now. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I guess I hit this. Good thing I noticed that, because that's a problem. Hmm. Okay, so while this is going up, I'm going to... Uh, why did I mess it up like that? <laughs> okay, that was definitely not how I was supposed to do it, but right now, if it works, it works, right? Wow! Oh, that is some really tight timing with it. You have to like immediately flip over. I don't know if I like that one. So we're putting all of the masks to the test here, which is really cool. But like I said, very, very challenging. Because what's nice about this is that, ah. I, I, I don't really, wait, I landed on top of it. That was weird. Oh, okay, it works. Um, whoa, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Wow, this is crazy. Go, 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 go. No, wait, 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 no, wait. Ah, oh, there was a TNT up there I need to get. Oh, darn, how do you do that? I mean, luckily, I'm back here. Got that, got it, immediately flip. Oh, okay. Wait, there's my gem. Oh, I couldn't quite reach it. Hit the check. No. No. Maybe that was a bad idea. It's not coming back. Oh, no, here it is. Ah! I don't think I can get it either way if I don't have that the tornado move. All right, well, I will have to replay through the level anyways. You know, assumedly for, yeah, the tape. Oh my. I don't think I can destroy that thing either. Duh. I don't trust that. 
This is the hardest one to use though, like on the fly. You know, I was really hoping I'd get some more time there. Oh, I actually fit through. Wait. Oh, I'm in trouble. That is so difficult to maneuver. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Ah, ha, 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 ha. This level's painful. We've already died 20 times. It doesn't feel like we have, but the, the, the deaths go by so fast. He got me there. That, that was fair. He, he got me pretty good. All right. Gonna dodge as much as I can. And then I think it's a great idea to go and do this now. I don't think hitting him with the spiral. Okay, no! I don't think hitting the TNT with the spiral is a good idea. I think that immediately takes me out, but I can't remember. So let's not be silly with this, because I can just do that. Then I can go and grab that. Um, oh, that is very close. Now there's still more here. This is where I have to get, oh my gosh. That is how far I have to get without dying. What do I do here? <laughs> not that. <laughs> Note to self. But that's how far I have to get to get the mixed team. Oh, that is crazy. Oh my gosh. They are all so chatty. Where did I miss seven crates? What? This level was crazy. A lot shorter than the previous level, but a lot more densely challenged. But hey, at least we got all the Wumpa fruit. That's something I know where the hidden gem is. I just couldn't reach it, but with these seven remaining crates, who knows where they could be? Let me try again. Come on, ready? Ooh, got it. Okay, now I just gotta survive. There we go, hidden gem, got the checkpoint. Now I just gotta keep going with the level. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually miss any crates. It's just I died and forgot to get the ones that were before a checkpoint at some point. So now I just have to sort of go through again and not do that, that was really silly. But oh my gosh, we're, we're sort of figuring it out now. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Yes, we got the final gem as well. So I just have to play through the level. Again, not die basically a single time because once again the tape is at the end of the level and then I gotta catch up with those tapes um, after this level because I forgot to do that between levels. And there we go. Oh my gosh, I got it. I got the flashback tape. That honestly took me hours of trying. Let's keep moving um, because I still have to, oh my, even if I die here, I still need to, uh, oh. Okay, even if I die, I need to just go through that without dying two more times. That shouldn't be too much of an issue for me. But that literally took me hours of attempts. I put down the game for a couple days because I was struggling with it so much. I was like, you know what, maybe if I just put some time down, put some time with some other games and come back to it, I should probably play a little bit better. It seems like that was the case, um, but still took me hours of attempts. It was very, very difficult just to get through this level without dying a single time because you have to get through the entire thing as you can see there. Um, oh my. Uh, can we go through, can we go through? Yes. And boom. Got it. Okay. Perfect. There we go. So we get the flashback tape, we get the hidden gem, we can finally move on with this area. Oh my goodness, it's a dream come true. <laughs> So there we go, flashback tape found. That means we actually have two flashback tapes to um, check out now because I didn't do the one for the last level. They might be the last two flashback tapes actually. That would be crazy. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, back to the dimensional map and Cortex's Island. Uh, <laughs> I'm still like blown away that I finally got it done. But it looks like yeah, we do have to replay that level as Cortex. But first, yeah, we have the final two flashback tapes. How cool is that? The first one is gonna be Resilience Evaluation. All right, let's go. The second to last mixtape here, or flashback tape. I'll never get that right, will I? Um, how many crates do we have for this one? 130. I should probably try to be a bit careful here. Flames are gonna go off down there. And then I can, ah, oh, get toasted. I gotta be faster than that. But actually if, okay, don't do that. But if I can just go into there and hit that one TNT crane, Ah, yeah, that's a little bit difficult to time, but we, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah, it's crazy that we're almost done with the flashback tapes. We're almost done with the game. It's just, oh, it's taken me so much time and effort to get here, but it's been worth it so far. This game's so much fun. There we go. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> Darn, ah. 
So starting with the tough jump, but I noticed the ones that start tough usually end up being, well, easier later. We'll see if that's the case for this one. All right, boom. Hold on, missed one. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. All right, ah, you can't rush it there. All right, so let it, the flames go off. Look, it took longer that time. No, what, what is happening? That was weird, I spun, but it just didn't work. Okay. There. There we go. Um, Didn't think about that. Oh, that's gonna be weird to time. All right, let's try again. Ready, go. Yes, okay, we got it. No, whoa, okay, I made it, I made it. Okay, I only have so much time to make it through those. I didn't know those were gonna be... All right, ready? Boom. No! <laughs> you gotta be so fast with that, wow. That's crazy. Okay, go. Oh, that was close. That was real close there. Um, How do we wanna do this? Right now, I think getting rid of that would be a good idea. Then I guess we'll one, two, three, four, and five. Timing this seems particularly difficult, and not only that, but where would we land? I'm a little confused about that. Uh, Yeah, where are we heading off here? Oh no, there was, okay, there is stuff at the bottom. That's a little unfair, because you can't really see it. All right, well, note to self. There we go. That was not easy to do, but let's go ahead and slam that right there. And what do I want to do about this? Okay, oh man, there are so many steps you have to take in this one. This is by far one of the most difficult we've run into yet. Um, and I can just tell based off of stuff we've just sort of gone through, it looks like there's still so much more. Um, a lot of tricky, intricate jumps so far in this level. Okay, so far, so good. Just trying to break these in a way that's a little bit, you know, oh gosh, there we go. So what are we gonna do here? Um, oh no! Was that a bad idea? It may have been. Oh, that's just cruel! You gotta leave some of the boxes behind so that you can go back. I didn't I didn't factor for that. Okay, at least I'm making it a little bit farther every once in a while. I'm not gonna say each time, because it's certainly not each time, but oh no. <laughs> I'm certainly getting a little farther every now and then. Okay, so this time I left as much of it back there as possible. I think that's gonna be a smarter idea. Now timing this jump though, that's a whole different story. Luckily we did it. Um, there we go. So I'm gonna break that one. Yep, there we go. Now this is where we need to sort of burn through some time before it burns us! Okay, wow! That was something else, 42 out of 130. Okay, so this is like sort of the same setup as before, the same, oh my. Um, uh, darn. Okay, now I know that that activates some more blocks back up there, so I gotta be quick with that. Ooh, it's like you, you get so far, and then you have to sort of just do something to learn what's gonna be, what's next. And then you gotta do it all over again. Okay, so I'm back up here. All those boxes spawn in. I'm just sort of looking around. I don't think there's any others besides these three. Um, trying to get this without falling. And then back down here, slam down like that. Okay, so what's next? Now, obviously, I'm not supposed to do it this way. Oh my. There. Oh my gosh! How long has it been? Here, let's just die just to see, because I got the checkpoint. It's been 40 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, so we gotta wait for the, the nitro to kick up like that. Whoop, no. <laughs> that is just gonna be chilling out for a bit. Oh my gosh. Torturously tough. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I can see how this is gonna take a ton of trial and 
error. Okay. Actually, I need to hit this. And I see up there. No! Okay, don't hit that team. I was actually on the right track there without even knowing it. There we go. Awesome. So hit this one and then get rid of all three of these. Then we can worry about this TNT. Let's hope that doesn't explode, okay. Oh, this is weird. So what I think we gotta do here is it's gonna kick up and then instantly, oh my goodness, but what do we do after that? <laughs> That's the question now. Wow. This is like next level difficulty. Oh, okay. That's the first time I've made it up like that. I don't quite know what I'm doing with these blocks over here. Uh, oh, um, okay, first off, get rid of that. I don't know. That is so weird. Okay, okay, there we go. That's my first time making it. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, so I gotta make that super quick. Uh, where I go after that is unbeknownst to me, but we'll figure that out later. Oh my gosh, it just gets worse and worse in terms of challenge. But we'll try it again here. All I gotta do is break that, go down here, break that, and then, whoo. Oh, I did it too well. I did it too well and I just couldn't get up there. Okay, there we go. Oh, I hope that was a good idea. Okay, I'm starting to figure this out. I think, what do I do here? Um. Oh, I, I think I know. No! <laughs> How do you get down there? I think I might just have to destroy that jumping block. I, maybe I just don't need it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. There we go. That seems like it was the right thing to do, but how do I get up there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So what I'm starting to figure out what I gotta do here is I have to leave this here so that I can hit the TNT later. And then that'll explode the boxes up there. Oh my goodness. All right, ready? Gonna kick up. We're going to wait for that one and then jump. And this is where it gets a little crazy because I need to time that jump. I actually did it correctly this time. And right in the last second, slam, let everything explode. Um, I don't know if the boxes are activated yet. They are. Okay, so go down like that and then kick over. <laughs> Ready, boom, boom, boom. Got it. So that makes a lot of sense. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, Coco, you scare me so much sometimes. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, well at least now I know what to do. Okay, so here we are again. Once again, I got all those boxes. Oh no. <laughs> How are you supposed to time that? That is tricky. I might just want to jump over and try to get to the next one over. I don't know how good of an idea that is even. Oh my gosh. There we go, okay. So there's some wild stuff going on here. Uh, that's not how you do that. I do not know how you get, maybe that block would just be explored by the nitro. I think I might just have to hope that that's the case because I don't see how else you would get that one. Oh my gosh, it's just like literally one more crate. I just have to move to the next crate in the sequence of 130 of them to see like how do I get past this one specifically. Oh man. Okay, haven't been up here yet. I think I have to move. Okay, I did have to move. Are we almost done? I just have to trust this process right here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't like this. What? What? I landed the TNT. That was baloney. I was definitely more over the TNT than I was the Nitro. Oh my gosh, no, we were so close to the end. There it is, there it is. Yes! Oh my gosh! 
an hour and a half on this level alone. That was by far the most difficult one yet. It makes me absolutely horrified at what might be happening in the next level. Um, but that's what we're gonna be tackling next, whatever's next on the final flashback tape, and then we're good. We're done with flashback tapes. We can move forward and beat the rest of the game. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, that was that one done. And the next and final flashback tape is gonna be all the way over here. It is the gauntlet. Oh no. Strange. Ooh. I don't remember this test chamber. I don't think you're gonna want to. I have a feeling this one's gonna be even more difficult somehow. Um, ooh, okay. Let's see if that's a good idea. Uh, okay, sweet. It actually wasn't too bad. Come on, come on. What is with the sheep back there? <laughs> it's like a Spyro sheep. <laughs> you see on the on the wall there? <laughs> Interesting. Ah, oh, I knew I was gonna hit that. Trying to find the right angle for that is gonna be tricky, but I know it's possible. All right. In the meantime, I guess I should, if I really wanna try here, yeah, I should buy some time that way. Ready, kick, jump, land, and then same thing. Two. One, kick, jump, got it. And now this is gonna break, yeah, right away. Ah, oh, that is so tough. No! <laughs> what a weird little angle that is. Okay, so while that's going off, I can just hop down. Uh, okay, if I jumped the other direction, I would've been fine. <laughs> there we go, okay. Just trying to scout everything out before we move forward. Uh, you know what? No, no, no! Why, I feel like I pressed the square button for her to spin and then she spun super delayed or something. It was probably just me, but oh my goodness. Come on, we can do this. I know I can get this done. It's so tough just doing it all in one go. Hopefully we'll run into a checkpoint soon, but all I gotta do is that. Hop up here, one, two, three, four, and five. And then do that, but then fall down here. Okay, just heard it explode. Gosh darn it, that angling, it's just so precise. This seems like a much better way to go about it, and it doesn't look like there's anything else up here. So yeah, I should be able to do that. And then slowly, but surely, we'll break these two. Now, what's going on to the right of this, I'm a little concerned, but what I think I gotta do is hop on this, spin. There we go. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Now, this I'm a little con concerned about. Okay, uh, almost, almost. Oh, that's tough. Like maybe there's a better way to go about that because the TNT will explode the nitro there. I just have to not get exploded myself in that meantime. Okay, so it'll probably be smarter to do here. Oh no, can I make it though? Ah, oh, I don't think I can make it in. I might be able to if I really tried, but there's gotta be a better way to do it. Maybe if I left the one jumping crate for a bit, little bit longer, that'd probably be a better idea. So I'll try this, but I might end up running into the same issue. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I really think that's not how I was supposed to do it, but it's still why I did it. Oh, really? So this is how Coco gets out. Oh, that's interesting. So they write in a way for Coco to escape because obviously for Crash, we know how Crash escaped in the beginning of the cra Crash 1. What's up here? Anything cool? No? All right. Um, but I guess for Coco, they decided to write something in. That's awesome. Okay, let's slam through that. Wow. Um, how exactly am I doing this? It looks like it's currently my best in interest to do that. And then hope everything, oh my. Oh, I could have just popped right down there. And then we would have been at the checkpoint if we could have gotten a little bit farther. But now I know. There we go. Okay, so that was a pretty big explosion to survive. I'm glad we did. Uh, we still have a lot of crates left here. We're just barely about to reach halfway through. Oh my gosh, you didn't just do that to me. No, 
I honestly thought that was gonna be a TNT. How do we land on both of those at the same time? That shouldn't be possible. Weird. All right, well, can't believe the game did that to me. That was awful. All right, so now I know just to ignore that and to keep going. And then I'll set up, hopefully the nitro explodes at some point, I would imagine that it does. Um, so now that we got the checkpoint, what's going on next? I can definitely destroy that. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Sort of just trying to figure out. There we go, ooh, not bad, not bad. And then spin on our way down, slam this thing, that makes another crate back over here, and don't forget this one. Definitely don't wanna do that. Okay, shouldn't have done, oh, okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. I was gonna say, shouldn't have done it that way, but it seems like it was just fine to do it that way. Oh no. Um, <laughs> let me go back over here, and then, oh, all right, make it back, make it back. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, come on, come on. No, I don't think that's possible. I don't think that, no. Uh, uh, what did I do wrong in there? I did something wrong so that the uh, boxes just didn't pop up the proper way. Something over there, right? I mean, obviously it has to be. But for now, let's just worry about this. Oh my gosh. Something else to help out this, you know, just. It's just crazy, it just does not stop pushing. But so far, honestly, not as bad. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, that's tricky, that's really tricky. Not as bad as the previous level. Maybe it'll start stepping up soon, but the other one was so consistently, ruthlessly difficult that like, I'm surprised that this one's quite survivable so far. Okay, so we're gonna make it over here. Oh my, Um, please, 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 yes. Okay, now I can land on this. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do we do here? Because that's a nitro thing down there. I gotta be very worried about. Oh gosh, there we go. Major jumps, but I couldn't make it up there. Okay, I certainly did something wrong. How'd I get that? That was weird. I hit that block in the bottom corner through the, the steel crate. Okay, well, I gotta figure that out a little bit more then. There we go, finally got up here. That was, um, oh, this is tricky though. Oh, I still might have messed this up. We'll have to wait and see. Because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Darn, okay, that is even trickier than I thought. There, okay. It's all I needed, so now, I'm gonna be try, to, try to be very careful with this, because I, I don't know. Oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, because this could just go bad. <laughs> There's just so many different inputs and things to pay attention to at any given moment. Uh, this level is starting to prove to be just as difficult as the previous one. Oh, man. Okay, so I can jump clear over those, which is pretty cool. And then I can just, yeah, okay, that's, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. That was such a better way of going about it, for sure. It just could have gone badly. Okay, so what's the deal here? What will that activate? Oh, no. Wait, wait. Um. Oh, no, that's not gonna work either, though. Because, like, I can do that, but then this one nitro crate is about, I wanna keep going, just so I can see what's next. Theoretically, I would've jumped off of that, Okay, that was the last crate though, for sure. Okay, I sort of get it now. Wow, okay, I did it. Now I'm gonna hop onto that. I'm going to go here and hope. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, now I gotta move it, move it, move it. Ah, no! <laughs> so close, I should've just double jumped. I should've just went for it. Oh my gosh, we were right there. Ah, we did it! Oh my goodness! 
Wow, that took so much. Closing the experiment log, every flashback tape completed. 118 boxes in that level. I do say that this one was still easier than the previous level, but how cool is it that we've gotten them all done? That took so much work throughout the series, and we still have more work to go in today's episode. We still have to recomplete the level we completed earlier as Cortex, but then I think we might be good to move on to the final level. I don't know, maybe the second to last level. Oh no, it'll be the final level. That is exciting. So of course, we've already done Nitro Processing, Toxic Tunnels, Cortex Castle. Now we'll be doing Seeing Double with Cortex. Okay, so let's hop into this level, Seeing Double with Cortex. The original level this was in was very, very tough, so I can only imagine the same for this one. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, crash. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like Cortex is pretty determined here. Wow, this is looking pretty cool. So we're sort of back in the sewers for right now, and that opens the door. Oh yeah, just like in the first game, we have these doors that could be opened up. I'm guessing that's eventually gonna close, so I'm trying to be careful here. Or not. There we go. Um, yeah, We have a total of 129 crates to get here, and it looks like it's gonna be quite perilous getting there. Oh my. Um, yeah, let's dash across. Oh my. Um, I can't get up. Weird. So that's not what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, we're all the way, all the way back to the beginning. But now we know that, uh... Can I break these? Not very easily, oddly enough. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Dodge across that, no problem. So for right now, I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, well, I guess I just, I gotta get up to this. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Oh my. Okay, that's a little awkward, but I guess I gotta break the nitro first as I'm jumping up. I like the uh, the scientist in the little test tube over here, looking a little bored. There we go. Got it. So now we can get across. And dashing across this one. I guess the best idea will be to jump, blast, jump. There we go, much better. Okay. That I'm working with. Other oh, scientists near there. A lot of them are just you know chilling out doing sciencey work. You know, usually in most crash games they're like throwing potions or something weird. Not in this one. They're actually just doing their job. There we go. Oh, got it. What's going on with this big crate? Okay, there is stuff behind it. All right. Okay, I can already see them up here. This is pretty cool. It's crazy how huge Cortex's um, whole place is. You know, like, I wonder how long it took to build all this. Ah. Hmm. All right, the platforming is getting really tough, though. I'm sure there's something up here, right? Yep, okay. I wonder if that was it. So far, not too bad. Oh my, why did I? That's sort of something you gotta keep in mind for the uh, Cortex levels. You can't just leap without thinking. You gotta sort of uh, think. <laughs> Unlike with Crash where it's like, you know, the answer is always to pull off some kind of jump. Here, not always. You gotta, you gotta take it slow. There we go, much better. Oh my, so. How exactly am I getting that one? Oh, I think I know. First we can block that, then we can, uh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. But as you can see with this, it doesn't, ow, last forever, but I dashed right into that nitro. Not good. Okay, yeah, definitely smarter to do that for now. Oh my. Ooh, the jumps are getting tougher and tougher, though. There we go. Uh, I would actually like to get over here for now so we can destroy that nitro. And I don't think there's anything going on over here. It's where that my shots go through that. Hmm. Because of course I'm still looking out for the hidden gem. I've noticed with Cortex levels it could be sometimes very tricky. There we go, there we go. Oh, this is gonna be shooting at me the whole time. That is tough to dodge when I'm trying to also line up to shoot the nitro. Where are the checkpoints? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's sort of weird to think about. So I've died enough times that the game has given me Aku Aku, right? But this doesn't actually, ow, well there he goes. Makes sense because in all the other levels where we've played as Cortex, he's been a good guy, he's been on our side. So it sort of made sense that Aku Aku was around. But now, that's not the case, you know? Um, It's just, 
Cortex is a bad guy and he's going after us or at least he's doing evil stuff again. So why is Aku Aku helping him? I think they just didn't really think about that. <laughs> but it is like a funny little oversight for sure. Okay, let's try to catch up to where we were. And, oh, got it. And I don't know, I'll probably have to hit that again. There it is. But the game also gave me a checkpoint there, so the ah, adaptive difficulty sort of coming to play here. Which, you know what? So be it, so be it. Um, oh my. Darn, okay. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I hope I didn't make like a major mistake here. I mean, I guess what I could do. Not always the easiest thing in the world, but now I'm back here. So just so that I can get... You won't line up in a good position. There we go. See, I'll, I'll go like that. I don't really need to hit that, but I did. Boop. Yeah, don't charge over. That still got me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm back here. I sort of have to move quick here. Oh my. Oh my. So it look, looks like you know, the platform's extra long, so we had some lead time there, but that was still scary. I don't know what this did for me. Okay. It looks like it's gonna... Oh! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, I lost both my Aku Akus, but we got through it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wanted to hear that. Why does it happen? Every single time I'm about to die, Cortex starts to talk. I do feel like that's a really silly place to put it, because even if you do survive at the checkpoint, it's very easy to just get hit by this guy. So it's sort of, it's a silly place to put a voicing that can end up getting skipped. Oh no. Oh, okay, I survived that somehow. Oh, I do need to shoot these though, don't I? I don't see how I could shoot those without them exploding me. Hmm, oh darn it. So hopefully there is a way to explode Nitro later. There has to be, thinking about it. There typically is. If there, if we're not the players crash after this, there'll probably be Nitro crates and stuff. So I'm going to assume, oh my goodness, uh, that there's a way to um, explode them later. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, I'm just gonna go like this. Got it. And then if I'm lucky, oh, I, it was lucky, but then I forgot about this. I guess I was supposed to, ah, oh, I, I, sh I should have done that earlier, I guess. What a tricky spot. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna explode. Why was he facing that with Cortex? What are you doing? <laughs> Why was he facing that way? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that at all. There we go, there we go. Oh, uh, whoop. <laughs> Gotta be careful, oh man. Okay, we're supposed to dodge like that. Now this one, the platforming just gets crazier and crazier. This is definitely like peak level Cortex skill required. I'm glad I did that. Um, no, no, no! <laughs> I was just, once again, trying to position myself correctly, but I was like facing out like this when I just really didn't need to. Oh, that's frustrating. Why can't I be more reasonable like I am? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? I guess compared to himself. Well, you are the older, wiser Cortex, so. Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, there he is. Hmm. Masquerade as me, will you? Well, I'm you from the future, you idiot. I, I'm not an idiot. You're the idiot, idiot. Get him. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Oh man. And that's where he falls into it. Weird. So it looks like future Cortex has captured past Cortex. Can I get up there still? <laughs> I don't think I can. I think they designed it specifically so you can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, let's move this way then. Don't make me help anyone. We have an evil doppelganger situation. So I think this is I the same. Doppelganger? I'm. No, oh, forget it. <laughs> I think this is the same yeah. conversation they had before. So I'm not really too worried. Ah, about missing it. So this looks mostly the thing. The same. I think the only difference is the crate placement might be a bit different. Um, so like, oh my gosh, but even then I'm getting flashbacks, nightmares of how many hours it took me to go through this level. Oh my, I didn't see that crate before, so it's good that I got it, but the choreographing 
to get this done is gonna be insane. Luckily, there's not gonna be a flashback tape. We have them all done, but I had to check just in case. Um, but where, the, oh my gosh, not what I wanted. Where was the second jump? That was weird. Um, either way, oh boy. Oh, got it. Yeah, it's not giving me my second jump off of that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever, but still, getting this done. No, 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 no. There we go. And also not dying more than three times is gonna be nightmarish. Luckily, I got that. Am I really gonna take my time with this one and just make sure? <laughs> I don't miss any crates, because it seems like they snuck a lot of them in. There we go, excellent. Um. Okay. Got it. Oh man, oh gosh, and then flip, 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 flip. And then turn it back around. So far not going too bad. Wow, okay. No, there's something up there. Uh, wow. I don't know if I should get the checkpoint then. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, I don't know what that could be. But maybe, oh, will it come back? Yes, it does come back. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. But no, no gem up there. Oh, I wonder where the gem is. It could be farther along. That is, I thought this was the flippy one. Luckily, I just got a checkpoint, so we should be fine. Um, there. Don't wanna jump too high for that one. And then we can just go down here. So this part's like almost identical. The, the TNT over here is a little different. And all we gotta do is, oh my gosh, that could've been bad. Actually, maybe the TNT over there was the same. And is there anything up this way? It doesn't seem like it, so. Just gonna plop down here, come on, Crash. Oh, yeah, so far that's all the same. Oh gosh, ah, oh, I was so close. Yeah, no secret gem anywhere. I don't know where that is. I'll have to replay through the level anyways to not die more than three times because we died a whole lot more than three times here. Ah, almost 40, that's crazy. But I think overall, Honestly, we got through this section not too bad. Maybe I'm just still so used to it. Lots of muscle memory here still. Okay, there it is, there it is. We got the third Wumpa Gem with that too, which is nice. All right. Okay, let's just try to get through this as fast as we can. That was good. Whoa, whoa, I pressed the button, what was that about? All right, come on, come on. That's it, fly up. No, oh, you're torturing me here, I'm so close. Oh my goodness. It's funny that the game gives you an Aku Aku because these lasers are a one hit takedown, so it doesn't really matter much. There, moved a little bit too fast for the platform there, but we're fine, we're fine. This time I'm getting it, we're just going to, whoop. And then actually I'm gonna let that there we go, much better. Get down here. Ugh! Again, see, just what's the point of Aku Aku in this area? There we go, 114. What? Eight crates? Where did I miss that many? Oh my gosh, we got through it. We found out what was going on with Cortex there. The whole picture. So that is every single bonus level, I guess except for, you know, the inverted ones. Oh my gosh, that's awesome but we didn't get all the crates. We died 42 times instead of three times, and we didn't even find the hidden gem, so not really the best run at it, so let's try again. I think I waited, oh! Oh, look at this, oh cool. And is there crates in here? Oh, there is at least one or two crates I got there. Um, I don't like that too much because you just can't see where they are and I just gotta hope but there's the hidden gem. So hopefully those were the crates I missed. I know I missed like six of them though. So I don't know where the rest would be, but maybe there were just like one or two here and there that I missed. I'll definitely be looking for them as I try to complete this level, but at least we got the secret gem, right? That's pretty good. Moment of truth. 
There it is. Okay, so we got the gem. We got the hidden gem. Now I just gotta play through the level again without dying more than three times. That time was a lot better. Only 15 opposed to 40. So um, hopefully we can make it. Oh, that was too close for comfort. There we go. Only one life lost. The Cortex section was just killer because it goes so long. King of Bling, look at that. So that means we've gotten every single gem, normal gem in the game. Wow, that is awesome. I can't believe it has been undescribably difficult to do that. Just this world alone, but all of them combined just, oh my gosh. But yeah, with that being said, we are good to move to the final battle in this game, I guess. We're gonna find out right up here. It is going to be the past unmasked. So yeah, this has to be the final battle with Cortex. Oh, that's so exciting, but scary as well. Is this gonna be tough? Cortex has abducted past Cortex and you know, something bad is gonna happen. I can only imagine, but hopefully we'll be able to stop him as we have three times before. Is fourth time the charm for Cortex? I guess we're about to find out. Whoa. What a machine. Uh-oh. Do you have any idea how stubborn I used to be? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I need to stop him from making you. But I can't kill him because that would kill me. So I guess that means I'll have to kill you. <laughs> so really though, there was no reason of going into the past. Well, I mean, I guess because we're still future crash. So we still have to go back and take out past crashes while, whoa, boom. <laughs> this, ah, that was not good. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, all the masks are here and I guess they're not helping us. They're helping him, I don't know. Maybe they're being controlled. But what's interesting about this is it sort of kind of reminds me of the tiny, the tiger boss fight from Crash 2 with all these falling platforms. Oh my goodness. Whoa, lab assistant coming in. Gotcha. Boom. Wow, Cortex has a ton of health. Oh no, oh no, what's happening? See, he's forcing, whoa, okay. He's forcing the uh, the masks to work with him. There we go, much better. Ooh. Okay, now that I get this, it isn't too bad. Gives you a little bit of a warning about what's gonna happen. Oh man, but the combo of everything, oh no! <laughs> sort of pressed the wrong buttons there. Wow, this is crazy. All right then, so let's jump over that. That too. So this is a couple of times, but then, here they go. Luckily the uh, the platforms that have the shoot o on them. There we go. Oh man, but those don't disappear it seems. There we go, he has so much health too. Time out, time out. Whoa. This really feels like a combination of different previous Crash bosses. This is like uh, the engine boss from Crash 2. Oh boy, there we go, there we go, not too bad. What's the matter? Afraid of the searing deadly laser? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, this is weird. We're upside down. The whole world is upside down. Confused? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there we go, I did it. Come on, Crash, we can do this. There we go. So the red ones were supposed to jump over, but the blue ones we can slide under. Or just duck. Oh my. Let's definitely try to slam on you. Okay, some of these platforms are falling away. Oh man, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, here we go again. Ah, whoa, that didn't hit me, just barely didn't hit me. Oh, things are gonna get slow here. Is it gonna slow, ah, wow, so it's speeding things up maybe? That's weird. Um, yeah, I guess it's, a... actually the slowdown is more helpful for me than anything. That's weird. Oh man, I just barely made that jump. 
That is crazy. Wow. Um, yeah, why would he even like that only helps me. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Got him. <laughs> How did he fly that way when I hit in the other direction? Who knows? We're halfway through his health now. I'm bored of your shenanigans. Whoa, so now he has the spin power. Oh my goodness. Uh yeah, slam on this. Get over here. Wow. That was close. Oh man. That's it. Slam on that. Oh! On the first try there. And I get the lava assist. I was right on top of him. Oh, there's two. There's a, more than two. Oh, he got me. Okay, there's one of them gone. And then the other one. And then over here. This guy's gonna start shooting at me. I got it though. Wow! And there goes all this health! See it, Cortex! Not like this. No, oh! No, no, no. Yikes. Gonna feel that one in the morning. So there we go, we've defeated Cortex again. Who would have thought? Oh. Hmm. Must have taken a hit to the old temporal lobe. But a fallen foe can only mean one thing. It came to blows, and I won! My new general's first order of business will be to dispose of you. <laughs> we are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex! Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. Uh oh. Hey there again. Explains a lot. Oh. oh. Stay. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a little time out. Somewhere he can't cause any trouble. Enjoy the end of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Dingo Steiner is back and ready for you. Hooray! Hey. The delectable dishes inspired by my interdimensional travels. Enjoy the breeze with our innovative three wall dining room design. Dingo Steiner, health and safety rated D. For delicious! <laughs> Warning D is a failing sanitation brain and does not stand for delicious. Dingo's all set up with his diner again, that's great. Hmm. Oh, where's Cortex? <laughs> oh, he's at last. Well, I guess everybody's happy in the end. Oh, almost there, almost there, good thing. Yes! <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> ah, I believe this is the voice actor to Aku Aku who unfortunately passed away earlier this year. But that was so cool. What an ending. This game has been a work of fiction. Any similarities to any marsupials, talking masks, dingo alligator hybrids, or evil science guys with weirdly shaped heads living or dead is purely coincidental. You should not have played this game <laughs> if you suffer from Wumpa Allergy, Crash Rash, Fear of Alternate Dimensions, Fear of Moving Platforms, Fear of Still Platforms, Fear of Sequels, Fear of Squishy Noises, Fear of Bouncy Noises, Fear of Super Science, Fear of Collecting Things, Fear of 90s nostalgia, inability to comprehend time paradoxes, inability to forgive those who have wronged you, inability to pick a restaurant when someone asks you what you're hungry for, inability to remember where you parked, or a delicate tummy. 
For more information on Bandicoots and their diet, habitat, mating habits, birthday wish lists, and shoe sizes, visit your local library or ask your grandma. I don't know if she has any prior experience with Bandicoots, but she's very wise, and I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. The makers of this game do not in any way endorse eating at Dingle Dial's Diner, which has been known to cause <laughs> trans-dimensional discharge, intestinal rifts, wumpa whooping cough, parasitic slime boils, random teleportation into darker timelines, and uncontrollable mewing like a little kitty cat during important business meetings. <gasps> Any unauthorized exhibition, distribution, or duplication of this game will result in very hurt feelings. And why would you want to hurt our feelings? We've always said really nice things about you. We even said your new haircut looked great, even though it was kind of a weird length for you. Guests of Crash Bandicoot <laughs> stay at Ensane Beach Suites, which is just a log with some moss on it. The moss is really soft, though, so you should be able to get a good night's sleep. What, are you too good to sleep on a log? Sorry, Your Majesty, I suppose you want a continental breakfast instead of a handful of ants that make their nest under the tree. Jeez Louise, there's no pleasing some people! <laughs> Can you give me a minute? <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to go again. The events of this game are absolutely 100% canonical. Unless you didn't like them, in that case it was all a dream. Wow, this guy talks more than I do. <laughs> so there we go, there was Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. The sequel, I never expected, but I'm so glad it was here. And there's still so much more to do in this game, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be playing through basically the entire game again to get all the inverted gems and do all the time trials. So I don't know how many times we're gonna be replaying these levels, but there is a lot to do from here on out. So thank you guys so much for the support in this series so far. More episodes are coming soon, but admittedly, I will probably be doing a little bit of a hiatus on the game so I can catch up with some other projects. This episode specifically, but most of the episodes in general, took me so much time, because I wanted to do the full dimension in the episode just because it's more satisfying that way for me. I think it is for you guys too. That's what's, what it seems like you guys prefer. But it took so much work, especially this one. The levels are just so difficult and took so much trial and error that I had to sort of put the game down on and off for about a week just to film this whole episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, what a great game. I really did enjoy this game through and through. If I were to suggest it to other people, I would honestly suggest not 100% completing it. You really don't need to to enjoy it. I think for a casual playthrough, this game is perfect and they did a really good job making a great Crash Bandicoot sequel. I was worried going into it that it just wouldn't meet the standard of quality that Crash 1 through 3 had. And of course, while it's different, it's not bad. It's really fun. It's a really enjoyable game. And I think the controls are good, the art style is fun, and overall the story is really interesting, how they go into the time travel and stuff, and how they add so much to Crash with the story and the cutscenes and the voice acting and the different, like, art, uh, the, the uh, masks and stuff that you can uh, use. So, <laughs> lots of cool stuff like that. Um, on top of that, I, I wanted to think about, I wanted to talk a little bit more about that ending cutscene. I'm wondering, does Cortex always know about that then? Like, that's sort of where it gets weird, right? Cortex must remember that he ran into his imposter self, or at least what he saw as his imposter self in the past. Wouldn't that mean that he would know the outcome that he would have defeated it and then been able to predict all of this, you know? Or maybe is the, does the timeline not work that way? Maybe it doesn't. I don't really know. I guess not, which is weird. Um, but it also, but it has to work that way because Crash was the one who prevented the, the thing from happening to Crash. As we saw in that cutscene, he hit the little tube and it fell out and that's what saved himself in the past, starting the events of Crash 1. So what, what, what exactly, <laughs> it's a little confusing, but I think overall it's a really cool story. Um, and I, I think the twists and turns were great. It has so much content. I am so blown away by how much content is in this game. Like I said, if you're really trying to complete everything, it, it just exponentially multiplies how much content is in the game. You have all these levels, you have all the collectibles within them, the hidden gems, the uh, the colored gems as well. Um, you have all the inverted levels, which we'll be checking out soon, which I think change up the gameplay in each and every level so that they feel fresh. You have all the gems you can find in them. You have the bonus character levels with Dingo Dial and Tana and Cortex, which were all really fun to play for their own reasons. It's just so much. I definitely think that this is one of the best games I've played this year. By far the most difficult game I've played so far this year. Oh my gosh. This pushed me to my limit in good ways and bad ways, but hey, we, we got it done and there's still plenty more to do. <laughs> so I'm not gonna act like I'm out of the woods just yet. And I will get to it. I just wanna take a break, catch up with some other games. There's plenty of other stuff going on if you haven't been seeing. Um, we've been playing through the Mario 3D All-Stars collection, Mario Sunshine. I'm chipping my way through that. I don't know if the episodes are out yet, but soon. Mario Sunshine, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is about to come out, Hyrule Warriors, um, Age of Calamity. Uh, there were a couple others, Mario 35. Lots of cool stuff. 
really excited to play more of all those games and plenty of other things too. I have some old school projects coming up. So just lots of cool stuff going on in the world of Zebra Gamer videos. I hope you're enjoying it. And yeah, I think I think that's about all I wanted to say for it for right now. This was a great game. Thank you to the uh, publisher for sending me a code to check it out early. I was able to check it out like a day or two early. That was always an exciting thing when that kind of thing happens. So yeah, I just, a new Crash Bandicoot game and it was awesome and I'm super happy about that. But we'll go to the end of the credits and see if there was uh, anything new, if there's anything new to check out before we finish off today's episode. All right, so there we go. Whoa, ho, ho, triple spin unlocked. While running, tap square, square, square to attack in a wider radius and, a, and seriously boost your speed. Give it a spin in time trials. Wow, keep going. There's so much more to do. Get all the skins, gems, flashback tapes, time trial relics, and discover the insanely perfect relics. Are you bad enough, bandit? Are you a bad enough, bandicoot, to reach 100% completion? I don't know. I don't know if I got that in me, but where does this go? Oh, it loops all the way back to the beginning. Interesting, so of course, this is where we'll be getting started with um, next episode, we'll start doing the inverted levels. Um, and with them, hopefully things will go really well. Uh, I'm definitely gonna take my time up until we do that, because like I said, I gotta catch up with some other stuff. But we did get some other costumes unlocked. Earn all the platinum flashback relics. We get um, general rule, <laughs> I get it. Okay, and then over here, we can beat the game we get through the ringer. Oh, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> So there we go. That was a ton of fun. Stay tuned for more episodes and also in other games as well. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.